I'm Abby Dean with Manufacturing.net, and today I'm talking with Bob Zimmering, who is the Six Sigma Director at Raytheon Missile Systems. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Abby. Thanks great. for asking. Of course. Um, so, how's the summit been going so far? Great. Very interesting. Yeah. Good variety of speakers. Yeah. Learning a lot? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, one thing I want to talk about today is just some trends within the industry that you find exciting and or challenging. Um, just anything you want to say about that? I think it's been interesting to watch the speakers. We have a variety of different industries and there's some recurring themes. A lot of the people who are implementing Lean are discovering that they need to focus a lot more on talent development mm -hmm. and uh, focus on employee engagement. And that's always been a part of what we've tried to do at Raytheon and it's interesting to see the uh, other adopters coming on board with that philosophy. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about what you specifically do day to day? Sure. So I'm the director of Six Sigma for my business unit. We have 12,000 people. Uh, it's based uh, in Tucson, Arizona, mm -hmm. and we are the world's largest manufacturer of missiles, primary to the United States Department of Defense, mm -hmm. our armed services, and our foreign allies. Mm -hmm. So my job is to make sure that we're using the best possible processes, developing the best possible products, and developing our talent to operate as a high-performing team. Mm -hmm. Our key objectives are really uh, not just internal cost reduction, but delivering more and more affordable products and driving out cost, product costs to the customer while continuing to increase capability for our missile systems mm -hmm. so that our soldiers, sailors, airmen, women, and allies can continue to do the job they do safely and protect our interests. Mm -hmm. How is it working with the government? Well, the government has had uh, significant challenges with sequestration and budget uh, mm -hmm. cuts. It's, uh, it's a necessary element of our economic reform and it's a necessary step from a taxpayer perspective. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the threats have evolved globally. Uh, they're in, we're fighting more complicated things in more complicated places mm -hmm. in more places at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so the need from our customer and from our nation's security really has gotten more and more challenging and that's why we need to continually develop better and better technologies to meet that threat. Mm -hmm. How are you trying to combat some of those challenges now? Well, the big thing is about uh, uh, operational efficiency and uh, an eye on affordability. Mm -hmm. So again, using Lean Six Sigma principles, working more uh, tightly with our suppliers and uh, collaborating with our uh, foreign customers so that we can do the best we can and uh, deliver the best cost to our domestic customers as well. Mm -hmm. Listening to everything that's been going on at the summit while you've been here and just being around all these other manufacturers, um, is there any kind of like, are you generating a lot of new ideas to take home with you? And Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been a great, my primary interest in benchmarking. We've got a solid lean manufacturing program, we've got a solid manufacturing program, and we've got a strong uh, global supply chain. Mm -hmm. The key is how can we do things better? And in our industry, it's difficult to get uh, a sense of where to go because of the limited number of partners uh, and, uh, and competitors that we have to work with and we can't share information with each other. So it's great to get ideas from other industries. Some of the things that are really interesting, it's what's going on in advanced manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great to see the speaker that uh, talked about how they're integrating that as part of their development cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the speakers have talked about advanced manufacturing uh, and then in terms of implementing the internet of everything and the connectivity mm -hmm. as a driving force for not just innovation but cost reduction. Mm -hmm. And also kind of just reflecting on what you just said, if you could maybe give manufacturing one thing, what do you think that would be? So I think that giving manufacturing uh, really the, the emphasis to move away from cutting labor costs and more towards improving efficiency and employee engagement, I think that would be my one thing to look for. Mm -hmm. And if you had to pick a superpower to have, what do you think that would be? Definitely to be invisible on camera. Invisible on camera? <laughs> I, I think that's a great one, yeah. I, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for chatting. I really appreciate it. Sure, thank, thank you. you so much.